Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bromster coming to you with yet another puzzle. So this is a puzzle called Anti-Sim by Teganis. Um, and I asked Teganis what Anti-Sim was supposed to mean. And apparently it means anti-symmetry. So this is a puzzle that's been specifically designed to not be symmetrical. As someone who designs puzzles with the idea of symmetry in them, uh, this is kind of anti what I do. So this should be a lot of fun. Um, so as it's still running, um, I will, well, it's going to be running for a very long time. If you're watching my channel <laughs> at the moment, March of the Quads is currently in progress. So March of the Quads is a pack of 40 quadruples puzzles designed with a lot of um, much <laughs> various difficulties. So there are uh, three types of difficulty in the pack. There are 17 walks in the park, which are easier puzzles that most people should be able to just uh, solve recreationally or work their way through. Uh, there are, I haven't looked at it in a while, there are 13 scenic hikes, which are a little bit more challenging um, and uh, people might struggle a little bit more with them. And then there are 10 tricks into the wilderness, which require uh, a lot more tricky spots and a lot more uh, logical tricks to get through. So those are the ones where people might stumble. Um, but uh, hopefully the pack e the pack is available. Links to it will be below. Also links below will be this puzzle, Anti-Sim by Turganis. So let's focus on this one. So uh, there's only standard rules in this one. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in row, that's one row, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Uh, we have thermos. Along the thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this. And that's true for all of these thermo shapes. And then arrows. Along the arrows, um, you sum up the digits on the arrows and they will get, pl uh, the sum of the digits on the arrows gets placed in the circle for that arrow. That's what we've got to go with. Let's give this a shot. So what draws my attention is this because the minimum you can put on three cells that see each other is six and the minimum you can put on two cells that see each other pardon me is three six plus three this has to be a nine there's nothing else it can be these have to be one two three these have to be one two now this is giving me a one two three triple in the column a one two three triple in the box which means one of these has to be a three which means this is not the three um, and this has to be a one-two pair. Not sure I can take that any further yet. But this thing is going to be similarly constrained. As in, this is a minimum of one, two, three. Which means this has a minimum of six. I have to add this cell. And this can't... So six plus whatever this is. So this can only be seven, eight. It can't be nine because I've already placed the nine. So this has to be one, two. And if this is a two, this has to be one, two, three. So this can be one, two, three, or four because this can't go above seven, one, eight. Except I can't put a one up here. So this is two, three, four. So the minimum here is five. Hang on, if the minimum here is five, and the minimum here is three, this has to be eight. So this has to be two, three. This has to be one, two. And the two, three makes this the one and this the two, and this is the eight. This one changes this arrow completely. So this is two, three, one, two, eight. This one takes one out of there. This one, two makes this a three and this a two, which takes two out of there. This two makes this the one, which makes this the three. This is a lot of given information. This two makes this a one and this a two. And those arrows are fully resolved. Nice. You do have to do a little bit of tricky thinking about this, but not too tricky. So what? So this has to be, so these are three that see each other. So this is six, seven or nine. Okay, that's fine. Um, can't be eight because there's an eight in the box. Um, so two is down here. One, one is right there on this thermo because one and one, 
One is in one of those two because it can't be on the head of the arrow, but there's a one seeing that. So that's okay. Um, twos. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Threes. Hmm. Three is down here. I think three could be there and... No, this can't be a three. So three is in one of those two, because if this was a three, this would have to be a one or a two, and it sees both of them. So this thermo is actually more restricted. So nine, eight, seven, and six are fine, but this has a minimum of three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. I have no problem putting pencil marks on thermos. Five, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. Can I restrict that any further? Maybe. Maybe. I really want to look at these long thermos, don't I? So let's do the same trick here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Well, there's not a lot of restriction on this at all. So this is three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Three can't be in any of those, so three is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. Oh, that's a one. So I was just looking at the same trick over here, but one is in that column, one is in that column. One has to be in those three, but I can't put one that far along a thermo. So it puts one across here. No, I've got the same trick up here. One, one. One is in those, and it can't be along a thermo. That is a one. So down here, one is in one of those two. And one, one, one is in one of those two. So I've got one down to those. Do I need to put a one on this arrow? If I don't, this is two, three, four, and this is nine. Now I can put two into those, I can put three into those, and it looks like I can put four anywhere. Huh. So I'm not sure. Tell you what I am sure about, using this same trick again. Where do two and three go in this box? Oh, that's really clever. So two and three can't go in those cells. If I put two or three on the thermo, then these would run into negative numbers. Three, two, one, big fat zero. So, And I can't put them there anymore because that's where the one had to go. So two and three have to go down here. But if I put three here, I'd have to go two, one, and I can no longer do that. So two and three have to go on the arrow, and this becomes a five, taking five out of there, taking a middle digit out of a thermo, not helping a lot. But I did get that, which takes three and five out of there, which means this is not a four, this is not a five, this is not a six, just running up the thermo, removing candidates. There is cleverness. It's a Teganis puzzle. Of course there's cleverness here. Five is now in one of those two. I really want to pencil mark this thermo, don't I? Who am I kidding? Maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five. No, not maximum five. Maximum four, and it can only be two or four because it sees one, three, and five. So this now becomes, can't be three, four, five, six, five, no, not five. This is six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine. I really did want to pencil mark this thermo. That was way more restricted than I thought it was. So four is down here now for this box. I can't put it here and it can't, so this is not a four, this is a five, six. So four. Oh, 
wow, there's some stuff going on. I've got, this thermo is not pentamark, but this could really be almost anything at this point. Or could it? Because I've got one, two, three in the box. So that means these are down to four candidates. Well, let's just get it out of the way. Nine, eight, seven. So this is four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. That's close. So I've got to put two and three into those cells. But I can put three there, I think. Three goes into one of those two because of the threes in here pointing into here. I know people keep commenting that I get distracted and jump all over the place too much and I should stop doing that. But I, I will work on it. Um, so three is over here. Three is not down here. So three is in one of those. What can I do with this arrow? Wait a minute, this isn't a three because of that three. What is it with given digits that makes you completely impervious to being able to see them? So three is in one of those. But I don't see why I couldn't put it there. Hmm. So what am I missing? What am I missing? So thermo chains, maybe? I, so one would have to go here if it's on the arrow. If it was six, it's one, two, three which would make this two, hang on, if this is one, two, three, this is two, and this has no value. One, two, three, two, because it's the only place left, broken. So this is not six. This is seven or nine. One, two, four, One, two, four. Now I'm not seeing any problem with that because I could still put four down there. And that would allow four up here or up here because I've got a lot happening in this column. That cell. This cell has to go in box seven. It can't go on its own thermo and it can't go in its own column. So this cell has to go into one of those. And it can't be one, two or three because of what we've already figured out. This has to be that cell and therefore a five. That's, wow. Okay, that's nice. Not that tricky, but hard for me to see. I am, yeah, hard for me. Okay, so that's that. Don't know what it gives me, because this is these were already all higher and already all lower. So I've got the four. 
So these are from six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is from six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, it's not eight. This is a six or a seven. Two is in one of those now. Hmm. I don't think I can do the same trick over here because there's too much freedom. This is a six, seven pair though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four, eight, and nine are what go in here. And that is powerful. There's no four here because four has to go down here, but this is a four, eight, nine triple. So that is a seven, that is a six. That is a seven, which means there is a seven up here. Four, eight, nine. Not sure yet. But what did I just do? I did six and seven. That makes this a four, which makes this a three. Which means this is a three and this isn't a three. That puts three into here with two. Because three, three, three has to go in this box down here and this is too far. Well, it's higher than three on the thermo, so that just doesn't work. So I've got these two threes lining up. It still doesn't put enough pressure on this arrow. Something will. So this is a two, three pair. So this is from four, five, six, seven, nine. This is... Uh, Two, four, five, six. So this is a five or a six. Again, I'm jumping all over the place and I shouldn't be. In here, I need to put an eight because I'm missing two, four, I'm missing all the even digits from here. This is also a quad, which is four, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I need to get more pressure to remove, to place one on this. I think I need to remove two, three, four. Now I can't, hang on. I can remove two, three, four now. I can't put two, three, four on this arrow because I can't put two or three into either of those cells. This cannot be a three. Sorry, it cannot be a three. So three is in one of those. I cannot put a three on this arrow. And if I can't put a three on this arrow, this cannot be two, three, four, and I have to put a one on the arrow. So that's something. So what can this be? It can no longer be one, two, or three. So it's a minimum of four. So it could be one, two, four to make seven. This could be one, if it's nine, one, two, five. No, it, what am I talking about? One, two, if this is, hang on. If this is nine, it is one, two, six. If I can't make this three, I can't make it four, I can't make it five. This, this is a two, no matter what, that's a two. Because I can't make it three, four, five, six. And if I make it one, seven, this has to be a one to make it nine. This has to be a two either way. And this is four or six, depending on whether this is seven or nine. But that two makes this three, this two, this three, this two. That three places that three. That's a very nice arrow trick. Eight is now down here because this eight is knocking eight out of here. So eight is in these two cells, which takes eight out of there, 
8 out of there, and more importantly, out of there. That's a 9, that's a 4, that's an 8. That puts 4 in one of those two. There's a lot of bouncing happening here. This is 7 now because of the 9, which makes this 6 and this 5, which means this is the 8, and these are known. These are one, two, three, 7 and 9. And they're resolved because of the 7. This is 9, this is 7. So these are a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are 8 and 9. So these are 4 and 6. And this is a 5. Is any of that interacting up here? That, well, that's not a 7, but that doesn't actually... I... <laughs> I have eight digits in a column. I wonder what that could be. That's a nine, which takes nine out of there, which takes eight out of there, which takes seven out of there. So nine is now in one of those two cells in this column. Well, I've got the three, so that's not a three, but nine is in one of those two cells in the column. I can also take six out of all of these. So these are uh, something looking across. Hang on, six and nine, hang on. Nine is in right there. Nine has to go there. This nine is looking up. This nine is looking across. And that there um, nine is in those two cells. This is a nine. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is across here now because I can't put it there and I can't put it low down a thermo. Six. That nine makes that an eight, which means that is not an eight. That is not a seven. This is not a six. This is a four. This is a two. These are now six and eight, which is not resolved, but this is six, seven and eight, and that is not an eight, which gives me a six, seven pair, which makes this a five, this a four. This has really cool flow to it. Four there, this is six, seven and eight, and it's not a seven, this is six, eight. There'll be a simple pointing thing I'm missing, but that's okay, I'm having fun, and as long as I'm having fun, it doesn't matter what I'm doing wrong. Well, as long as I'm not hurting anyone. Uh, four, five, six, triple in the column. So these are from seven, eight, nine. It was a discovery. Seven is in one of those two, which puts seven up here. It wasn't a great discovery, but it was a discovery. These are six, seven, and eight. So this is a six, because there's a seven and eight in the column. So this is seven, eight across the top. So this is now four and six which gives me a four six in the column. So this is a five. This is a six. This is a four. This is a six. Six, one, and two make nine, which takes nine out of there. Oh, six, eight, looking across, making that a seven. This is not a seven. I've now got the eight, nine. This is now a pair. Two and four? Yeah. So this two makes this a four, and this a two. This is so much... Fun. Finish my sentences. One, two, three, four, five. There's only a single digit missing from that box. It looks like a seven, which makes this an eight, which makes this a seven. This is now a four because of the row, which makes this a six and this a four. This is a seven. This is now a five because of the box. This now has to be a nine. I can take six out of here. So eight, seven, six, which makes this an eight. Eight, six, did I do that wrong? I don't think I did. Um, that nine makes this eight, nine, and eight, and I've got a single box left, so I need to put in a six and a nine, so six and nine, and that is anti-sim, or as I've been told, anti-symmetry, which I wasn't aware 
was spelt with an I, but okay. It's Teganus's puzzle. He can call it what he wants and spell it how he wants, as long as the numbers work, and they do. That was cool fun. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I hope you gave that a shot, as always. If you like the channel and the content I'm doing, please subscribe. I will still throw out the warning. I am finding it very hard to find time to record at the moment. So if there's gaps, don't panic. I'm probably okay. It's just I'm finding it very hard to find time to record. Um, and yeah, Hamilton starts in Melbourne in like four days. So I've got a lot of tickets to the theatre and that's just a thing. Um, and yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And please give March of the Quads a uh, and a shot we're very very happy with the pack the feedback has been extraordinary um i would say that some of the feedback we've received has been even better than save the galaxy and the feedback on save the galaxy was amazing as well feel free to give save the galaxy a try that thing was got good feedback but have a look at march of the quads thank you everyone for watching um good luck with your solving